Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another um, YouTube video and today um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, um, edit your Kerbal Space Program files if you ever feel this way inclined to do so uh, for example adding science to your career mode now I'm not saying that I cheat on my career mode I do not but I have added science to my illegitimate career mode I have my legitimate one and my illegitimate one um, as loaded here so I have this one here which I've edited and I, I have that in the name but then I have this one here which is my genuine one it's on year 25 because I've actually been doing quite a lot of flights on that to get my science right so what we're going to need to do is create a new career mode and we're going to call this um, new career mode or we're going to call this um, recorded editing okay so we're going to edit this we're just going to give it like a basic NASA flag there we go and it's in career mode you can see so let's just start this up and as soon as we load this up that's all we're going to need to do we're not going to have to change anything on here alright so then just quit this once you've loaded it up that's fine and now minimize that down and then what you're going to want to do is if you're running on Windows 8 is to search on this screen here just search in files for wow. Steam. If you've bought this on Steam, if not, then it will be in the actual game files of the of the game. But then that will be that will come up better. But what you're going to want to search for is Steam slash Steam apps slash um, slash common. But if you can find any of these Steam files, there will be lots of Steam files that you can search through. I've got hundreds of them. But you find any of these and then you just right click on them and open file location. That will bring up something like this. And then at the top just click on Steam there. I've got this on my desktop so that's quite hard to find. Right, so now where to go to find our Kerbal Space Program files. You should be able to find a folder called Steam Apps like this one down here. Um, that I've highlighted. Let's double click on that and then we're going to want to go up here to common open that up and you'll see that you've got the games that you've downloaded these are just the ones that I have at the moment and then obviously open up your Kerbal Space Program okay so now you've loaded this up what you're going to need to do is go into your saves folder and these will have all of your saves that you've created so here we've got our recorded editing save so we're going to open that up and then if you've used it like I have this one here say it will have like quick save stuff and ships and everything on it but this recorded one will put, won't have anything on it it will just have the basic stuff so what we're going to need to go do is open up this persistent file and if you don't have it set with notepad go to open with and then use notepad there so this is going to load up let's just close one of these down because I have two open Alright, there we go. So now this is open and you should see game, version, blah, 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 career mode. And that's essential for this bit because it needs to be in career mode. Okay, so you can see here you can also change the flag that you have. If you find the, the correct flag here, then you, can, then you can add a new flag on. But right now we don't need to do flags. What you're going to want to do is search down here for scenario. Here's scenario. But you're going to want to keep going until you find this bit here, which is scenario and then name equals research and development, because this is the bit where we can add our science into. So go down here, you should be able to see scene with a bunch of numbers after it, and then science. This is the bit that we're going to need to change. What you're going to need to do is delete this number here, so get rid of that. And then type the amount of science that you really that you think that you need. Keep it a number that's realistic. Don't go too over the board. So I'm going to go for twenty thousand science. Okay. Wow. So now that I've got twenty thousand science, you can just click File and Save. The second thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to re-get um, your your Jebediah and other crew members if you manage to kill them and you really, really, really want to get them back. So what you're going to need to do is keep scrolling down till you find this. 
it will have roster and crew and then it will have name equals whatever 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 like that so then you can see here that Jebediah is the only one that's got the badass thing it's true but you can edit people's stats here with this you can um, do whatever but what you're going to need to do is when he dies the state will become one or two or whatever you're just going to have to reset whatever number that is to zero and reset the time of death to zero as well so then that that's fine and then just make sure that every other number is minus one and that's it that's what you need to do and then that will bring back your thing or you could just copy and paste this straight away so copy copy that so if you do control C and then delete that and then paste it back in if it if it goes wrong or whatever. Okay, so that's all. That's that's all you're gonna have to do there. Let's save that, and let's close that down. And we're not gonna need this again, so let's close that. Let's load up Kerbal again, and we'll resume our save this time. And we'll go back into this recorded recorded editing, and you can see here that it's zero hours, zero minutes. So we know that we haven't legitimately got twenty thousand science. I don't think you can even get 20,000 sites in the game, but now if we go here into the research and development building, you should be able to see in the top corner of the screen that, hang on, let's see if I can do this. Can I do this? I don't know whether you'll be able to see this, but it, you may be able to. No, that's not going to work for me. Is this, is this getting smaller? Does it get smaller? I don't even know. Look at that. Can you see 20,000 sites there? I don't know whether it actually decreases to that size or whether it just stays exactly the same. So, um, yeah. I was just playing about on my bandicam there. But then you can use all of this science and click research. And you can research everything. So if you go down the rocket line here, you can go all the way up to the top of the rocket line. It's not, sometimes it's a bit buggy when I've got quite a lot of programs running at the same time here. So, just got to click on it, research and we can go all the way up to the top one there we go so we've now researched all of the best engines and since we've got an absolute ton of science we can research everything if we really wanted to anyway guys that's been a tutorial on how to uh, get Jebediah back from the dead and how to add extra science to a Kerbal Space Program career mode thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video bye for now and yeah subscribe if you can if you haven't already